And the Milwaukee Bucks are the NBA champions of the world. Shout out to Milwaukee Bucks fans. Congratulations. Like, shout out to Milwaukee Bucks fans. Shout out to Giannis. Shout out to Middleton. Shout out to Drew Holiday. Shout out to all the players, staff, Milwaukee Bucks. Great season. Great season. You are the NBA champions. Much respect to you. Shout out to the Phoenix Suns. Head coach Monty Williams. Chris Paul. Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder, that's two back-to-back finals he's been in, okay? I don't care if he lost. That's that's okay. He made it to the finals two times in a row. So if you're the Phoenix Suns, you make sure Jay Crowder is still on your roster. But um, they had her on your roster. But um, the great season for the Phoenix Suns also. Suns fans, give yourselves a nice pat on the back. Applaud, round of applause, okay? Unfortunately, guess what? Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose. And just because you lost the game, it does not make you a loser for the season or in life because guess what there are like 30 other teams that trust me as a Houston Rockets fan I wish my team would have made it to the finals and if they lost they lost but at least I can say my team was in the finals all right but now my team is rebuilding but um Giannis man phenomenal performance this dude here just straight up dominated what impressed me the most when the Suns looked like they was trying to take away the game Giannis went back in there and was like no not on my watch not on my watch, nuh-uh, so that's what I'm like, man, I mean, the dude, the, like, you know, the, how can I describe it, it's like, his willpower in this game was phenomenal, he had that mindset of, like, you know what, I'm not letting my team lose, I'm about to go out here and dominate, you know, and it, and here's the thing, the refs, they could have called foul every time he took a shot down there in the paint, and guess what? They didn't call the foul all the time. They, they called a lot of fouls, but they didn't call the foul all the time. But guess what? He, you know, you'll see him complaining to the refs a little bit. But here's the thing. He didn't let that deter him. He did not let that get him down. He kept that same momentum, you know, and I love that. You know, he kept that same resilience, that same fight, despite, hey, I'm not going to get every call. But guess what? I'm about to get down there and bang. OK, I'm going to get down there and bang and be relentless to the point where whoever's defending me, they're going to back off of me, you know, because are they just going to get fouled out because I'm attacking? I'm not afraid to shoot free throws. And, and here's the thing. I think he only missed like two free throws. He shot like 16 for 18. I mean, that is incredible. And it goes to show you in life, no matter what it is you're doing. OK, you're going to have hurdles. You're going to have obstacles. Guess what? Keep attacking keep attacking. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people getting in your way. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Like, seriously, I wish my Houston Rockets would have had that mindset in 2018 when we lost to the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. Too many people, they're still stuck on the whole Scott Foster and the, the refs. They didn't give us calls. Okay. The refs didn't give us calls. So the refs, guess what? They didn't really do their job to their best abilities. But then you got to ask yourself, Houston Rockets, did you do the best job to your capabilities? And the answer was no. They kept looking for calls. No, you keep attacking. Giannis kept attacking. I love that. I said this earlier today. Chris Paul, in order, in order for him to get a championship, you're going to have to go through Scott Foster. You know, and I think it's all mental because guess what? Every team got some complaints about Scott Foster. So join the club. All right. But somebody's going to get crowned a champion, whether it's Scott Foster is there or not. And if you Chris Paul, you got to get that out of your mind. You have to find a way to conquer that. You're going to have to keep attacking relentless. Whether if you're you're back with the Suns next year, I hope he's back with the Suns or whichever team he decides to join. Scott Foster's not going anywhere. And then if he retires, guess what? You're going to have another person that's going to fill that void like Scott Foster. OK, but um, man, the Milwaukee Bucks, I'm happy for P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker, man, let me tell you something as a not just as a Houston Rocket, but for every team, every team P.J. Tucker has played on. You cannot question that man's effort. OK, he brings it. He's like the ultimate teammate. I feel like he's a great leader also. OK, I mean, this guy here, man, I missed his effort in Houston, man, like that dude there. He was a, he was a rocket for three seasons, but man, a lot of times it feels like he was a rocket lo- much longer than that, you know. So he he's gonna go down as always one of my favorite Houston Rockets. And even though Chris Paul did play for the Rockets, here's the thing, man. Like I 
I appreciate P.J. Tucker more than I appreciated Chris Paul as a Houston Rocket. I understand that Chris Paul is more talented, but check this out. With P.J. Tucker, you never have to question his effort. You never have to question whether or not he's his preparation or as far as working out, keeping his body in shape. He's pretty much dependable. He's going to be there. If he can't play in a game, guess what? That means that dude there is like dog sick, beyond dog sick, right? But, um... This is big. This is this finals here. This is big for Giannis, man. Like 26 years old, two-time two-time MVP, defensive player of the year, NBA champion. And he won it in the city where he was drafted at. Him him and Chris Middleton have been teammates for 8 years, people. 8 years. You know, so this this is almost like how what how with Pippen and Jordan, both drafted by the Bulls. Um I think Pippen was that 86 or 87 draft. They won their first championship in 90. Well, they were together for about four or five seasons, you know. And um, that's, man, that that is awesome, man. You know, I mean, man, that 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 is just incredible. That is incredible, man. I mean, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think, well, I think if you're the Phoenix Suns, you know, I think Devin Booker is entering year five, I believe, for year six. DeAndre Aiden is entering year four. So if you're the Phoenix Suns, you see, okay, what the Milwaukee Bucks was able to able to accomplish. They're two cornerstone pieces, Giannis and Middleton. All right, they've been together since the day one. Okay, so if you're Phoenix right now, hey, Devin Booker is what twenty five years old, twenty four years old. Um. DeAndre Aiden is 21 years old or 22. Okay, so you got two, you got two phenomenal pe- players right there. You know, Aiden he has the potential to be able to dominate on the inside. Okay, I really wish Monty Williams would have ran more plays for Aiden in this series. I'm not saying it's guaranteed that they would have would have won, but guess what? That would have forced Giannis to exert more energy on defense. I understand he doesn't guard Aiden all the time one on one, but He's going to bring help defense. And the thing about it with Aiton, what I did not like is that they they used him as if he was DeAndre Jordan, Tyson Chandler, or Clint Capella, okay, which are three good centers. But guess what? They scored scored their points off putbacks or lobs for the most part. They don't score their points where if you give them the ball, you tell them, all right, you know, he, he can catch where they can catch the ball at the elbow. And then, all right, knock down that quick jumper right there or make a move, go make a play and score. DeAndre Aiden can do that, all right? It's the reason why Kendrick Perkins compares him to David Robinson 2.0, calls him David Robinson 2.0. Now, I don't think he's David Robinson 2.0. I think he has the potential to get to that level, but I do believe that, hey, he has a nice set of skills on the offensive side of the ball, you know, and they didn't utilize his skills. And that's one of my knocks on Chris Paul because you are the point guard. That's your job. That's your job. You know, if Chris Paul is scoring 30 points, you know, unless he's bringing 15 assists with that, I don't want the 30 points from Chris Paul. That's if I'm Phoenix. Your job is to make shots, is to, um, not make shots, is to um, set your teammates up for easy buckets. That's your job. You the point guard, all right? And, um, you know, Aiden, that's two games in a row. He only had 12 shots. I did not like that, man. I did not like that. He shoot, he's shooting above 60%, between 60 and 70% field goal percentage. He should be getting more shots, okay? Brooke Lopez can't check Aiden the whole game. And Aiden should be drawing fouls on Brooke Lopez, but they're only using him one way. You know, that's kind of like, it reminds me like if, let's say, Let's here's a football analogy here. Let's say if you have Jerry Rice as your wide receiver, but you're only using Jerry Rice for, you know, just run, just run deep, just run deep, Jerry. So so you don't want me to do my slant? No. You don't want me to do my in and out route? No. You don't want me to do my post route? No. You don't want me to do a screen? No. So you're not utilizing the best capabilities of Jerry Rice. Okay. So. The Suns, they're going to have to figure out a way to utilize all of the offensive capabilities of DeAndre Aiden. Because guess what? All that's going to do is make the game easier for Devin Booker and for Chris Paul and for uh, and for everybody else on the team. Cam Johnson. I think Cam Johnson, hey, Suns, y'all have a star on your hands right there. But um, 
But yeah, Booker, he could dominate on the perimeter. He did not make any of his three shot 0 for 9. This wasn't a good game for him. All right. But gonna have to live and learn from that. But back to the Bucks, man, the Bucks of Milwaukee. Man, Giannis. Mm. You know what? Kareem Abdul Jabbar did say that they wasn't gonna win a championship just a month ago. Maybe that's reverse psychology he was doing. I don't know. But um man, like Giannis, man, that is Giannis, you know, his career is like my career in NBA 2K when I go into career mode. Like, I'll, I'll win a championship at 25, 26 years old, win a couple MVPs, win a Defensive Player of the Year award, you know. Then after that, then I'm done with the game. I accomplished what I needed to accomplish. Well, after I go back-to-back for a championship, you know. But, um, man, the Bucks they haven't won a championship in 50 years. Man, as a Rockets fan, check this out. We haven't won a championship since 1995 man that's 25 26 26 years ago so i can only imagine not winning a championship in 50 in over 50 in over 50 years man 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 that's man that's awesome that is incredible that is incredible and the thing about it is hey a lot of people hey you, you gotta pretty much eat crow on how you talked about Giannis and I was one of them because as a James Harden fan I did not like the beef between him and Giannis like I liked Giannis but then when he started like poking fun of Harden and stuff of course I'm gonna side with Harden as a Rockets fan and I like James Harden all right as a player but um gotta give Giannis his props his props you know well it is not even about giving him his props Giannis has taken his props from people you know it's like you can't what what more can you say about that, man? That's dominance, you know? And you can't knock this championship. You can't say, well, this person was hurt. Hey, man, everybody is hurt. Every championship, whether no matter what sport it is, guess what? Somebody, an important player for any team, guess what? Is either going to get hurt or they might have something that ends up distracting them, okay? So you never know, all right? But guess what? When it's your moment to shine, you must seize it. And the Milwaukee Bucks, they seized it, man. That's 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 unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Um, but yeah, Chris Paul, he's gonna have to figure out a way to get up out of that Scott Foster thing, man. I mean, zero and thirteen in the playoffs, man. You're gonna have to figure that out, dude. You know, in order for you to win a championship. If he goes somewhere else or if he comes back with Phoenix in order for him to win a championship, he is going to have to get over that Scott Foster hurdle. He's going to have to. You're going to have to figure it out. I saw in the game he was talking to Scott Foster and stuff like that. And see, in this game, I don't think Scott Foster was the even was the reason why they lost. They just lost. You know, because if you blame Scott Foster, then you're totally dismissing Giannis. And Giannis... Hey, it was a lot of calls where he didn't get the calls. There were several situations where Giannis was guarding Chris Paul, and Chris Paul was pushing him off with the elbow. Foster didn't call an offensive foul on that, you know? But um, he's going to have to figure out a way to get over that hurdle for sure. For dang sure, man, for real. But shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks, man. Man, awesome. Man, that, that is incredible. That's incredible, man. Bucks. But hey, I told y'all Bucks and six. At first I said Bucks and five, okay? All right, I was wrong. Then the Suns go up 2-0. Say Bucks. I, I, that's when I first said it. Bucks and six. Bucks and six. I didn't wait till the Bucks won a game and then said Bucks and six. No, nah, it was down 2-0. Oh, it was down 2-0. And the thing about it is, you know, some people are like, well, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't your prediction at the beginning of the season. Of course it wasn't. It was Lakers versus Nets. All right? Injuries happened. They didn't make it. So guess what? <laughs> thank the good lord for allowing us the opportunity to be able to change our picks well I ain't, i'm not gonna even say change my pick both of the teams were out i had no choice but to change it i didn't change it so i picked another there's no rule against that but um bucks are the champions man 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 Mm-mm-mm. and check this out it's only gonna get better for Giannis and everybody else on that team because they're gonna play with a big surge in their confidence next year yeah they're going to be very very confident next year they get and, and if you're Giannis you're allowed to relax more sign that super max contract you got your championship and stuff now I think his game going to even excel even more watch watch but we'll talk about that on a different day but um once again thank you all for tuning in 
Thank y'all tuning into the podcast. Podcast, student of the game. I'm stuttering my words. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And please hit that um fave button. Okay, if you're listening on Anchor or Spotify, okay, and share your thoughts down below and let me know what you thought about the NBA Finals as a whole. All right, thank you all for tuning in, Student of the Game Podcast. Peace out.